In this video, I want to show you how to connect your solar panel directly to your inverter without using any battery or solar controller. The problem here that the voltage coming from the solar panel is more than 18 volts, while the input voltage of the inverter must be less than 15 volts. See what happens if I connect the solar panel directly to the inverter. As you can see here, the inverter starts to beep in and the red LED lights up. To solve in this problem, there are two ways. The first solution is using some diodes in series between the solar panel and the inverter. The voltage drop across each diode is 0.6 volt. I want to use in 7 diodes in series. So the voltage drop across all these 7 diodes will be about 4.2 volt. In this case, the 18.7 volt that coming from the solar panel minus 4.2 volt, which is the voltage drop across the diodes. So the voltage that go into the inverter will be 14.5 volt. I soldered the diodes in series and connect them between the solar panel and the inverter. This time, as you can see, the green LED on the inverter lights up. That means the input voltage is good. So now I can run in my load without any problem. However, decreasing the voltage of the solar panel by using diodes can dissipate a lot of power across the diode as heat. For example, in this case, when I run in my 15 watt LED lamp by using this inverter, the input current that passing through the diodes will be about 2 amps. If you multiply this current by the voltage drop across the diodes, you will find that the power dissipation from the diodes will be more than 8 watts. So it doesn't make sense to dissipate 8 watt of power to run in only 15 watt of load. The second way to connect in your solar panel directly to your inverter by using buck converter. So the buck converter step down the 18 volt that coming from the solar panel to something around 14 volt to run in the inverter. Here I connect this buck converter between the solar panel and the inverter. And as you can see it working well. The maximum power of the buck converter that I used here is less than 50 watts. And since the efficiency of this inverter is 80%, so the maximum load that I can connect to the inverter should be less than 40 watts. If you need more power, you have to buy a buck converter like this. It can deliver 1000 watt of power. Of course, in that case, you need 1000 watt solar panel and 1000 watt inverter. And even more than 1000 watt because of losses in the buck converter and some losses in the inverter. By the way, there are some inverter types, so called grid tie inverter. You can connect your solar panel directly to the grid tie inverters without using any buck converter or diodes. But the problem here that you can't run in any load with them because they are designed to inject in AC voltage to the grid. So the grid tie inverters in this particular application are useless. In the end of this video, I have to say that there are some solar panels that consist of 32 cells instead of 36. Each cell produce 0.5 volt, so they produce in 16 volt instead of 18 volt. However, the 16 volt is still higher than the maximum input voltage of the inverter, but they could be better. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.